Hello again to the next Wow How Show. Today we are talking about the air condition service business. We have a lot of attractive items to offer and let's restrict to the most important things. So first of all, we are proud of our units here. What is a very good start with um, why should a potential customer decide for our units here? Daniel. Uh, sorry, I forgot to, to introduce Daniel, Daniel Kronmüller, uh, Export Area Manager at, 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 at WOW, and myself, Uwe Blatz, uh, Product Trainer at WOW. Sorry, I, for, I forgot this part totally. Yeah, what, what could be a good reason to decide for a WOW machine? Hello, good afternoon. Um, yes, first and foremost, um, well, we uh, are our manufacturer of our own machines. Therefore, we have total control of the quality and quality assurance process um, on the own produced um, components as well as uh, purchased parts like uh, yeah, from Vika, from Parker, uh, the, the hose pipes from Conditec, and so on, and um, as well as um, that we can tailor uh, the products to the customers and to the specific markets um, as needed. Yeah, and therefore we have uh, designed products which suit the customers the most. Uh, let's start with the one you're standing beside with. This is, I, I always call a big mama. <laughs> this is the machine for the big systems and we have a lot of special accessories inside it which make this product a little different to the other ones so this um, is coming with a 35 liter tank internally this is this uh, big black item here then in order to support a quick filling procedure a quick charging we have added this liquid filling pump and also the compressor is a little bigger than in the other ones bigger means we have a very high throughput of one kilogram liquid material per minute in the liquid recovery phase and in order to make the the vacuum a little more smooth and uh, and quicker we added a vacuum pump with a with the um, capacity of 170 liter per minute uh, a two-stage pump and regarding these uh, big systems, this definitely makes sense. Uh, if we have vacuum times between six and eight hours, this definitely uh, is giving a, a better progress. Yeah. And um, of course, this is not so suitable for mobile use. Uh, it is more designed for the stationary use inside the workshop. And as we have the liquid pump here, we can. Uh, uh, we we can skip the the heating belt we don't need in the, in this case here. So this is definitely the biggest item we have. What is the tank volume on this one? Did you mention it? Oh, sorry, maybe I forgot. This uh, this is 35 liter. This is a kilogram. 35 kilogram is the tank volume. So it's suitable for even the biggest kinds of uh, buses, uh, which are. Coming with a with a serial AC system on as board. well as well as um, subway and uh, train exactly system. with high capacity high capacity systems. Yeah, then the next smaller one regarding the tank volume is the 50 series we have here. This is by the way of course uh, 134A, and this is as well 134A, and um what's what's common with all our machines we have here a control knob and a control system which is common to all the series here and of course the the focus in uh, um, developing hasn't been to be fancy and colorful the focus has been in a simple usability for daily use and shorten the the process times the the, uh, the technician needs to yeah, conduct any AC service. Um, 
what what do you think how should we sell this ac service to a customer what what, what would be a good point regarding the the benefit we we can offer here one of the benefits um what we have on this machine is um well one that we have different um oil bottles so we don't have to do the oil change all the time we have the PAG and the PO, uh, poe already here as well as uh, the uv tracer liquid yeah. we have um, the access for your favorite um, yeah but but we'll stay with this here if we just look at this item here this is uh, both uh, kinds of oils present and at the machine is saving time we don't need to to change the bottle if we have to change the oil and to support this function we have an automated flushing procedure which is flushing my internal system the hoses and the manifold after every service job to be ready with a completely clean machine and you can start with any kind of vehicle which may come onto onto the yard regardless the the oil we are we are processing here your idea it saves time and time is money in that yeah. case but um what i meant uh, if the car owner he's not uh, thinking that anything's wrong the ac is running properly it's cooling down nothing is noisy why should the car owner go for an ac service um one of the issues is if you don't do um, the um, AC service um, as recommended by the uh, compressor manufacturers every two years, at least every two years, um, sooner or later it will fail and it will be a costly uh, job of two to four thousand euros, depending, uh, instead of uh, doing, let's say, every two years. As an AC service uh, of about more or less 250 euros. Exactly, I Daniel. It's a very good point because we do the customer a favor if we offer him an AC service. Because, as you said, it will fail. It will fail for missing refrigerant and missing oil. And in, yeah, if, if if there is too less oil in the system, then the compressor will die, which is the most costly part in this system. And yeah. I remember you mentioned at some point also when you already edit and do this um, this service, uh, you may also change or have a look at the the filter for the for the inside. Uh, yeah, the cabin filter. The cabin filter, exactly. Exactly, this uh, is an ex extra extra money for the workshop. Yeah. And uh, there's a lot of uh, business beside it. Of course, we can. Uh, offer this disinfection service we can offer any kind of service and in case the system is empty we have another very beneficial function here within this machine because we have attached this bottle here on the back side and the bottle is not only that it is attached here and standing here this uh, so-called nitrogen pressure loss test is embedded in the software as a function and we start the process via the unit so we don't need this separate trolley with the bottle on it and a separate uh, manifold and a separate uh, uh, kit of hoses we all do it over this menu here so and what's 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 the benefit so because many manufacturers attach a bottle to their unit the benefit here is that we run this test over this software here and of course we are able to document the test how it went on and uh, whether it has passed or failed and um, this is a very good opportunity yeah to defend oneself against unfounded claims from from unsatisfied customers because what frequently happens especially with all the cars they come back after one or two weeks and the customer says hey this system is not working again. And of course, after a proper service, even if you have done the very best job possible, any damage could be can happen in, after a very short period of time. Maybe some some uh, yeah, some bending, some stones, 
some some leak occurs and all the all the job is destroyed and here you can say okay when we did the service everything was in perfect order everything was in perfect condition what has happened to you dear customer must have happened after the car has left our service bay you're right for that we have the access point for the usb very good point daniel we have a usb port here um, in this unit every service job we do here we print here is also saved in in a record and the record is appearing as a list if you download it on a standard usb drive um, we have one ex one example here you see in the screen and this is a record which is of course not so empty like this here if it is the record of one entire year and we have now the month of december it'll be a very long list of a few hundred jobs uh, have, uh, performed and you can then if you have um, ed added the, the tag number or the win number you can exactly link this job to any customer vehicle you have had in, in your workshop and this is another proof even if, if, if this job has been um, six months ago you can prove what you did and and how the process went on and if the the test has been passed it has been passed there's no discussion about this Uwe, are you able to restrict access to the machine yeah this is uh, another a good thing to all the series here we can um, at, um yeah we we can deploy user codes for four character pin codes to authorized personal so this means the workshop owner is having a service password and he can create according to his free decision or character pin and then hand it over to maybe to, to you daniel you are an authorized person you are authorized to operate this machine because in some cases especially after working hours after 6 p.m the consumption of refrigerant is increasingly higher than during whole the, the whole daytime and this can be avoided by by, the, by this uh, uh, lockage here because what's the benefit if you receive or retrieve this uh, service record the number or the, the number of the mechanic who did the job is also in the record so you know exactly who did the job and what the what when the, and where no? yeah and exactly when and and where. everything mm -hmm. yeah another thing for the usb if we are already here uh, we also have the possibility to upgrade the software at any time we like because when turning on the machine we get the software version displayed for a few seconds and we have a, a web page which is coolius uh, uh, ac.com and in this personal area you will find every relevant information regarding your machine you will find manuals in uh, several languages you will find software updates and you can compare the number if this one online is higher than the one in your machine it definitely does make sense to download this file and put it uh, in, into the machine and the process is quite simple you just take this standard usb drive with a file on it you, you you put it in in the socket and you turn on the machine and the rest works automatically it just takes you approximately six to seven minutes in total to upgrade the machine the machine itself will will verify that the version on the data stick is higher and exactly. uh, update accordingly absolutely correct and by the way of course we we have the, the database in that way updated as well database uh, a very a very nice topic here because um, I was I was talking about the control of, of the device in total and how we kept it simple how we kept it usable user friendly so of course we all have to wear the safety gloves and with the gloves it's very cumbersome and clumsily if you have to uh, operate a touch screen or any, anything related to this so we stay with this fall keyboard so we inform ourselves about the reserve we have still in the machine and then we simply go from the um, standby mode into the menu and this menu already contains all jobs necessary 
to do any job. So we're starting with the vessel charge, um, which gives us the opportunity to pre-select the volume of refrigerant we want to load into the machine. If done so, we have single step program, so which means any kind of a repair will be will be operated over this function here, because if we select this item, then we have the recovery separately, the nitrogen pressure test separately, vacuum, AC charge, or group steps. For instance, if we intend to to do a collision repair, we need to recover the the refrigerant and vacuum the system before disassembling. And the other way around, if the repair is being completed after. Yeah, and we also could um, do a complete automatic service. The difference between this and the other one is you can decide about the settings totally. You can entirely put the, your personal preferred settings in this in this way. Because the other way would be to go the simple way, full automatic service. The only thing you need to know here is the volume of refrigerant, and that's all you need to, to put in, and then can do other things instead of uh, standing beside this machine. Or the luxury uh, version here is to have no information about the car and just select the car out of a database and in this database, you will find every vehicle which came serially with an AC system fitted in. So in this case, we would select the Ford and, and so on until we have this right vehicle here. And for instance here, it also gives us hints if the vehicle has been modified regarding the refrigerant <clears throat> and um, let's see what this says here as oh i was too quick as max this is a model 2006 to 2030 the the previous one the 2050 this is our current one And now it says we have to use the ISO 46 PAG and we have 565 grams of refrigerant. And if we confirm all that, the kind of oil is also pre-selected here. And the port is selected. And if we now start, of course, we get the hint that this vehicle has been undergoing a modification in the model year of 2016, because on 1st of July 16, this car has been um, delivered with the new refrigerant, the YF refrigerant. This all you don't know unless you use this database. Okay, and yeah, this is really simply it. So even if you do not daily operate these machines, you can be Intuitively, uh, in, intuitively operate the machine without any hassle. The machine has a, an automatic process, right? Yeah. What is the, the time uh, safe? safe uh, well, yeah. How much very time good point. I almost forgot, process. Daniel. Thank you very much. I almost forgot this because this pressure loss test, uh, especially if you compare this to the conventional way of doing it, with the double manifold and the trolley, it takes you separated already 40 to 50 minutes to complete. And this takes so much time because you only have the scale of the, of the gauge and you need to definitely wait at least 20 minutes to get a significant result, whether the system is leaky or it is, it is okay. And this we can skip here because here we have a very high resolution uh, pressure sensor um, and there we can shorten this waiting time to three minutes and all over as we are already connected to the vehicle over the service hoses uh, it's just embedded in the service and it costs you additionally five minutes to the rest of the of the service time which means a real time saving uh, of 40 minutes at least and this is really significant this is saved money anyway and the documented 
yeah and of course not for, not to forget we have a different kind of oil uh, waste oil management because compared to the to the standard system here where we have this plastic bottle um, with the conventional system we need to use the refrigerant pressure from the tank to squeeze the oil into this container here and here we do it a different way at the final stage of recovery we create the same kind of a vacuum we have in the ac system recovered inside this container and with the aid of this vacuum we suck the oil into this container and we don't lose any refrigerant anymore here we lose approximately 10 grams of refrigerant with every cycle um, yeah this is made of glass but it is a uh, plastic covered so even if it falls to the floor which happened to me yesterday accidentally it, it will not break you see it's still alive just a little scratch here that's all yeah i well, mean maybe should not try <laughs> to repeat that. i do not intend to try again no you should not uh, uh provoke your your luck <laughs> yeah and um the very small star here is not the least because what we what we have here is an absolute mobile device of course with less functions but not uh, less interesting the same uh, what we did not mention before the the scale lock so this is the operation position and this is the transport position yeah it's very important if you use that um, unit um, on service service vehicles um, going out um, to a job agricultural or even the automotive business and um, so that the scale doesn't receive any damages during the transport as well as uh, because it's a hanging exactly um, very good scale. point I demonstrate just continue yeah with the hanging scale um, you can do even uh, the job if you like have a, a uneven ground the, your service vehicle is like i don't know uh, Two degrees. A slight hill or something you know and uh, it will not have if a uh, negative effect on the outcome because of that exactly the scale reading is still precise and this is one of the of the biggest benefits that um, the the bottle is hanging on the scale and it is permanently centered. And even if this small is there persisting for whatever reason, or if you are forced to operate the machine from a service truck, then you cannot select any position or you, you cannot start to pump up the vehicle to be even. You need to live with the slope as is. And for that, this works perfectly. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's not only the, the the bottle hanging on the scale, also the the UV tracer liquid oil bottles and the yeah. old oil. Very good point. They're all on the same scale to give you always exact data. We have only one scale, one central scale for all the jobs, which gives us more operational um, yeah safety. Which means we have a very strong scale, which is a capacity of 60 kilograms covering all the jobs we have to do with this here and we just switch from one process to the other and of course the oil um, the oil coming out of the vehicle being weighed and the oil added to the vehicle at charging is all measured or all weighed by the same scale yeah which is uh, has proven to be more safe than uh, working with a lot of small scale bars which are very sensitive for for, for, for damage yeah the hose can be extended um it's three it's three meters um, at the, um as you get it and it can be extended up to um nine meters uh six meters and then nine meters uh to even um do service on uh agricultural machines harvesting machines which have to connect us very high up um or like um leave it on your on your service vehicle you can hook it up with that voltage converter to the car battery that's one of the features from the y10 
and A10. And um, you don't even have to uh, put it out of the car, therefore, and with the longer cables, you can do the service. Exactly. And even in a standard, we have three meters in length, which gives the possibility to have the car on a lift and to do other jobs in between. You do this, um, this automatic cycle. Yeah. And um, with the with the uh, mobile use, as Daniel was, was mentioning, the power consumption is quite low. So it's, it is enough to use a, an AC converter of um, 1,000 watts to source this machine in, in any situation. Why do we have these gauges? Why, why are they not digital? Ah, yeah. Also very interesting. That's true. A lot of uh, competitors have switched to um, electronic gauges. But the electronic gauges are not so useful for the technician because they do not give the characteristics of pressure. There may be a shaking pressure or a vibrating pressure which are necessary to diagnose the condition of a vehicle. And um, this one here is absolutely accurately in time giving you the, the accurate pressure, whereas the electronic version is um, using a so-called sampling rate and the sampling rate is really depending um, on much conditions. And, and this sampling rate could be uh, filtering away some information I, I need to gather to complete. I also would like uh, to mention that uh, all our units have a printer, not only in the big machine, also on our small ones. And uh, talking about mobility, um, also like as a safety feature, all of them have a locking mechanism for the front wheels so that you can uh, secure them so they're not um, going anywhere where you don't want them to go. Exactly. And before we finish, and just to, to mention a very important feature, this is our analysis here. And this is not just an identifier telling you about the purity of 95%, and say okay or not okay. This is a real analysis uh, giving you in percentage the, the composition of the gas you are about to service here. And of course it should be near 100%, um, but if not, you get in percentage the YF, the 1234YF, the 134A, hydrocarbons, uh, which are not fluoridized like the R290 or the R600A, or unknown components, whatever could be in, uh, roaming in the system, will be given here in a, as a percentage. Yeah, and to secure the operation of this analyzer, which is very sensitive against liquids. Are you talking about uh, the three filter? Exactly. Um, there's the main liquid receiver here, which is under permanent um, cycling. Uh, if, if in, in any cycle where we do drain oil, we, we are emptying this liquid receiver as well. And if everything's fine, the customer will never find liquids in here. If he finds liquids in here, then this is a trigger for starting any maintenance before this filter here is affected. And if this filter changes color, then this is five before 12 to do some maintenance job because uh, then there is definitely it's something glass. wrong. And up to now, since we use this technology, we never lost any single analyzer so far. Ah, we got a question. We have a question, yeah. Um, what can I do with the glass bowl on the car? He's talking. Yeah, the glass bowl on the car. This is normally Our in the, the entry job because if we receive a car, in, in an ideal case, the customer is standing with us then we can analyze the, the liquid inside. If it looks crystal clear like water, like here, and if the amount of oil is sufficient, then everything's fine. But it, if it comes blurred or with a dark color, which means the compressor once has been overheated, then there's definitely need for repair. In this case, a normal service is sufficient. And in any other case, if there are uh, parts, particles, any residues or less oil or anything like this or any color which is un which is not wanted 
an overheated oil will turn to brown and black color. Then we are talking about a repair. In this case, it's still a service. And with this glass, we also have the entry information, whether there's pressure on the system or not. And um, yeah, this is a very good opportunity to sell this service to any customer because then he sees what's going on. Okay, if there are not any more questions, we have the chat function open. Um, if you uh, want to ask some questions, please don't hesitate to ask them. We will answer them after the show. And so I only remain thanking you very much for deploying your time watching us here. And we want to invite you for the accessories session we have afterwards. Thank you very much. Thank you very much also for me and uh, hope to see you in our accessory session at uh, 7. Thank you.